uh, Anupaditi. She is an assistant teacher in the Atal Adarsh Vidyalaya, Tilak Marg, New Delhi. So it is a, a New Delhi Municipal Council School. She is working there from 2001. She attended the Interact to USB FTP in, in 2021 and USB 2 FTP in 2022. She volunteered uh, since 2021 in uh, calling, transcription, help desk, FAQ, and moderation in both English as well as Hindi online USB FTPs. So she's a very active volunteer in the online FTPs. With this brief introduction, I welcome and everybody for sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Am I audible clearly? Yes, Didi, clearly audible. Please go ahead. Thank you for giving my introduction. I'll uh, put briefly about my family as well. My husband is working in a private sector health insurance company. My elder son is in MBBS second year. And my younger son is in class 12. Uh, prior to UHV exposure, I often used to wonder about myself that am I just a gender or a post or a mere relationship, a mother, a teacher, a sister, a daughter, or is there anything more to myself? What am I? Why am I? What is my role in existence? I consider myself extremely fortunate to get all the answers in the journey associated with UHV. During the training imparted by my department to implement happiness curriculum in Delhi, I got hooked into, I was fascinated by this content. I'm grateful to Dr. Sunita Jain ma'am for suggesting me to go through an introductory UHV FTP. Thereafter, Dr. Rajesh Kumar, the then chairperson of happiness curriculum, he introduced me to the morning sessions. Then I've done volunteering ever since. If I were to share my understanding emerging from exercise one and exercise two, and how many steps am I able to see myself clearly, I would say that there is a considerable shift as compared to earlier times. Observing the self by the self every moment, I'm not able to do it every moment, but yes, moments are rapidly increasing. Step one, I feel is the most important step that is to be aware. Initially, when I used to observe myself, I did went blank. I couldn't observe any thought, expectation or desire. I thought I was thoughtless for some time. But this decision to just observe, when I stuck to it for a while, I did begin to see my imagination. And yes, being non-judgmental was a matter of practice. And journaling also did help. It was very important and helpful. Gradually, my awareness is increasing and I'm able to observe without any reaction. At first, I was a little confused between naturally acceptable and acceptable or favorable feelings. Many a times, I wanted the continuity of favorable feelings and sensations. But then I knew that it is not possible. And that brings me to step three. I used to ask myself, Ask again and again, like Kumar Sambhav Bhaiya helped us. Ask why five times and we do get an answer. Yes, now I can see it more often than not that I'm largely able to evaluate rightly my thoughts. Though I slip many a times too. Prior to exposure of UHV, I did believe that it is someone else or the situation outside that decides my feeling. But now, every time I feel bad, I'm also able to acknowledge my sanskar too, almost instantaneously. Step five, I can see very clearly, if I decide my feeling on the basis of understanding, I am at ease. This harmony, this feeling of ease has gradually increased. Whenever my harmony is disturbed, I can see my deep-rooted sanskars and I can see that there are minds to go before I sleep. Yes, only feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me and not otherwise. And the natural need is there to understand them 
is also recognized at all four levels of my living. Mostly I'm able to ensure these feelings, but still I'm trying to ensure their continuity. Nowhere, either at my workplace or in my family, I have any strained relationships. But yet at some places, I do have very formal working relations where I avoid getting too much close. Probably I'm avoiding or escaping because I can see my own incompetence that I'll be unable to handle the dialogue. It might become an argument. Maybe I'll not be able to handle or put forth my proposals. I'm exploring this. And the human goal of feeling happy in continuation is on the horizon. And the gap between who am I and who I really want to be is declining day by day. Exercise two, observing self, body, and interaction between them in self, in space, by the self. Yes, I'm there. The self has imagination running in me in continuity. The body is there too. It can be seen and it can be felt. Gradually, it is more clear that self is central to human being. And I do transact information between self and body from time to time. For example, normally I cook and listen to the morning sessions as I'm working in a school and have to leave my place before 7.30. Once I was planning to uh, make a vegetable pulao and it turned out to be the question answer session by Ganesh sir. So instead of switching on the chimney or the exhaust fan and spluttering cumin or like sorting all the vegetables, I just assembled everything at a go in a pressure cooker and switched on the gas. I took extra care that before the whistle blew, I switched off the gas because I wanted to concentrate. I wanted myself to pay full attention to the Ganesh session, wherein all the questions of my co-explorers and the answers given were so beautifully enhancing my self-understanding. It is quite evident to me that it is I who decides. Thank you, Gopal Bhaiya, for giving me a great deal of clarity here with apt examples. Earlier, myself was adamant that some actions are reflex actions. I was unable to see that it is myself who makes all the decisions. I remember the beautiful example you gave when a co explorer asked you that when we are crossing a road there suddenly there's a vehicle on a high speed and we just move ourselves quickly i cannot see my body giving any instructions but then you made it very clear that it is the self who has the decision to be with the body like there are people who stand in front of a train on a railway track where the train is coming on a lightning speed and they have this decision that no, we are not going to be associated with our body any longer. If the self has decided, if the self is resolute, it passes on the instructions to the body. Step four, I can see very clearly as I do not have any hunger sensations on Mondays when I observe my weekly fast. No cravings and no regrets if any parties are there on Mondays as it is my decision. While reading the sensation, I'm not the sensation. This I'm able to explore quite a bit. I've been able to see my reactions and responses in the unfavorable situations in the past also. Based on my son's scars. I'm very grateful to my parents here for giving me good sanskars. At the same time, I had quite a few reactions also. And I can say as a conclusion that my external reactions have lessened and shifted to internal reactions, which are also on the way to decline. I had thyroid issues. I was borderline hypertensive. Now I'm not on any medications and both the issues are almost sorted out by right feelings and understanding. I'm doing yoga and meditation regularly. 
step seven is still a mere information to me, which seems logically true, but I'm yet to see the space. I'm exploring and hoping to experientially validate it myself very soon. So I can say that happiness is my innate nature and not the effect from the outside. I'm gradually beginning to see it. I still get swayed by some favorable senses, feelings, work is in progress. Like I still relish chilled mangoes. I feel good when I'm appreciated. I feel upset when I'm misunderstood. Many a times I do over and under evaluation of people and situations around me. I would like to thank all my mentors and co-explorers heartfelt, sincere gratitude towards one and all. Regarding my commitment, I'm able to devote one, one and a half hours every day. I try to join morning sessions quite regularly. At times, I'm unable to. And for social responsibility, again, I can spare one, one and a half hour every day. I am moderating in tutorial sessions taking feedbacks of participants almost very consistently for the past two years. I am a regular volunteer in FAQ. And I would like to increase my participation in UHV activities. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, 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 sir. Namaste. So you have answered all questions very honestly. So it is good to be honest with ourselves. And uh, second is, every one of us wants a fulfilling life in continuity. So we all, we all are aspiring for continuity of fulfilling life. And whenever there is a discontinuity, Sometimes in the form of outside reaction, sometimes in the form of inside reaction. So whenever there is a discontinuity, so important step is now do not react on this reaction, whether it is outside or inside. So in this process, many times you know, we feel that sometimes we do outside reaction, but gradually we resolve it. And sometimes we are in inside reaction but gradually we resolve it. So it will happen in this process. But the important point is we have not to react whenever we are in reaction. So whenever we are in reaction, we have to start observing our, ourselves without reacting into the previous reaction. So this process of observation is important and gradually we will be able to evaluate our sanskar, which is the root of all these issues. So whenever I say that I am at ease, so we have to explore ourselves what is making me at ease. Is it the state of pure observer that's why I am feeling at ease or it is some diversion that is making me at ease or it is some ignorance that is making me at ease. So if I am at a state of your observer and I am at ease, then it will sustain. It will sustain for a long time. But if the case are others, then frequently we will sleep with outside environment. So as there is a change in outside environment, we again will come into inside reaction or outside reaction. So it will go on till you know, we are able to see our potential to observe our sanskar as it is. So that is, you know, we have to go up to the state of pure observer. Then the ease will continue in her life. And you are practicing it. The important thing is you are accepting and practicing. So in that sense, it is good. So keep practicing it. Today. All which is best wishes from my side. Thank you, so Bhaiya. that's also my side. Thank Very you. valuable input. Ji, Bhaiya, I 
know that I'm reacting on my reaction to and many a times I'm going for diversion and ignorance instead of being a pure observer. I can see that. Yes. Ji, yes. thank you for your Shambhala Didi, over to you for the comments. Ji, Namaste Anupa Ji. Namaste Didi. Ji, very nice to hear your sharing. You are very sincerely and earnestly exploring within and uh, I can see that you are able to like you said, you know, notice the reactions. Uh, Gopal Babuji has already mentioned the details. So whenever we are reacting, we have slipped from that point of observation back into the imagination and the thought and the logic and justification and all of that. So each time you catch yourself doing that, remind yourself to go back to observing. And when you are at the pure observer, you will notice always the calm, the comfort within. So the reaction starts from within and then it is expressed outside. When we start becoming aware, first we may become aware of the outside. And so we try to control the reaction outside by not expressing it. But we are still reacting inside. Then as time goes and we catch ourselves reacting inside also, we are able to go beyond this and go back to pure observer. And when you are a pure observer, there is no reaction, there is no discomfort. So with that as motivation, we keep going forward and doing this. And as time goes, we will be able to observe, you know, we, we have the potential to observe every moment, but as much effort as we put in, we'll be able to get there, um, you know, eventually. So all the best to you, best wishes. And I also wanted to mention that if you are interested in health, there is also an opportunity where we have the health team where you can participate there also. And if you are interested, you can get in touch with any of the volunteers. They will be able to guide you. So all the best in even for the UHP projects, anything that you wish to take part in. Again, um, you know, you can access that information and approach the volunteers. So all the best to you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much for reminding me of my potential. Yes. 